everyone, this is Peter Skolvik, Music is a Journey. Today I'm going to explore the catalog of a band that I have had interest in now for uh, several years anyway. So I was not a fan of death metal for the longest time, but about 10 years ago or so I started to take an interest in it and then I found that I actually really liked it. I especially like vocalists where I can they, they've got a great voice and I can also hear what they're saying. And one of my favorite vocalists is the vocalist of Vader. Now he's Polish and he has a really cool Polish name, but I haven't figured out how to pronounce it perfectly yet. So I'm going to call him Peter because I think his name translated to English is Peter. Vader formed back in 1983 in Poland. They formed as a traditional metal band, but rapidly adopted the speed metal sound morphed into a thrash metal band and as death metal came along they picked that up as well. There were some demos, there were some splits, various releases until 1992 when they released their first album which was called The Ultimate Incantation and I don't have it and I've never heard it. But I think my impression of the band's music is that that stamp, that 1982 stamp is where their sound is. I don't believe they have ever evolved beyond that, which means that pretty much all of their, what is it, 11, 12 albums um, have that same kind of approach. There is that old school death metal approach to it, as well as still some carryover from thrash and not much variety in between there, but they have a really cool sound. I, again, I love Peter's vocals. He sounds like an angry Viking. Um, the way I was thinking about it was that scene in the cantina in Star Wars, A New Hope, where Luke is at the counter and these two guys start, uh, you know, getting a little rough with him and he's like, you know, okay, I'll be careful, you know, like kind of leave me alone, right? That, that would be like me. I'd be like, okay, I don't want any trouble. And then not Obi-Wan coming in, but Chewbacca coming in and ripping off the arm of one of the guys. Chewbacca just coming in and going, Roar! And that's how I feel Peter is. <laughs> it would be like, I'd be Mark Hamill or Luke Skywalker. I'd be going like, you know, hey guys, you know, that's okay. I'll be careful. And then Peter would just come in and go like, Roar! and just rip their arms off. So yeah, I really love his vocal style. And if you listen, you can hear what he's singing. And if you don't hear everything, just check the lyric sheet. Uh, that's, that's cool like that. Great guitar sound, wonderful riffs. Again, this, you know, old school death metal along with thrash metal. I love the speed drumming, whether it's double kick drum or if it's blast beats. I, overall, I just think they've got a really cool sound and every album of theirs that I have, uh, I can enjoy listening to. The thing is that there is not a lot of diversity. There are no acoustic guitars that I've heard, no clean guitars, and basically it's pretty much fast paced stuff with occasional mid paced heavy stuff in between. But um, we are not wandering off into like doom metal or traditional metal. The most I've heard was that there was a little bit of black metal riffing uh, in a song or two on one of the albums. So it's pretty much consistent from what I know anyway, every album having the same kind of style. So the thing is that I was thinking, do I actually want to get more Vader albums? So the reason why I was thinking about it is because recently I picked up this one here, Deep Profundus. Um, apparently it was not so easy to get when I first started getting into the band. This was uh, really not available, but I picked it up because I found it on Yahoo Auction uh, several weeks back. And uh, that's had me going back to revisit their catalog. I have uh, their album Necropolis, which is unfortunately one of their most lowest rated ones, but I do like it. I think Revelations was the very first one I bought. I really like the song, The Whisper. I love that part where it goes like, um, this is the greatest gift you've been given from Mother Earth. Let's play this game. Something like that. He does it much, much cooler. Um, and also the song, I think it's called, what is it? The, the code on here also has a really cool riff and a really cool sound to it. I, I quite like this album, but again, it, it's ranked a little bit lower down on the list. Um, this one here, this is not the, the, the real cover. Where's the real cover? Well, the real cover is in here inside. This is Impressions in Blood, which actually does have a really cool cover. This is, uh, I always thought was one of their higher rated ones and uh, got that one. It's also very, very nice. And then one of their best known albums is this uh, Tibi et Igni, um, which I always thought was just two characters like Tibi and Igni, but um, it's 
for you and fire. And then once I realized that igni, fire, of course, ignite, ignition, igneous rock, igni. Yeah, 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 yeah. So um, what to say about these? Well, um, I like all of them. <laughs> um, and I don't know, do I really need to get any more Vader albums? But I kind of feel like I want to get one or two more um, before I can feel satisfied. So what I did was I took a look at various ratings on the internet and I've put together one of my ranking uh, the albums of a band compilations here. So I'll, I'll just go over the 12, there's, there's 12 studio albums. They also have a couple of covers albums. They have a re-recording of old songs albums. They have a compilation. They have a couple of EPs. They've got some live albums, but just their 12 regular studio albums. I'm going to go over in the order. So the one, well, I guess I should tell you, I checked um, metal, what the heck is this called? I checked metal trenches. This is where it started. I checked metal trenches as he was, was, uh, um, tier ranking the albums with A tier and then, uh, sorry, uh, S tier is the top and then A, B, C, D. Uh, that's what I saw first. And then after that, I thought I'd check out different ones. So I checked out Metal Kingdom, uh, Write Your Music, somebody called, um, oh geez, my eyes are tired because I've been looking at the computer a lot today. Bratmate or something like that. Uh, Sputnik Music, Best Ever Albums, which actually included a selection of 10, but four of them included compilation and re-recordings and that, and uh, four of them were not the regular studio albums. We had somebody on Reddit by going by the name of Avery Gold who gave his ranking. Uh, we have Ranker uh, ranking 11 of the albums. Because of the, the latest album was, what was it, uh, 2020 or something like that? Um, some of the list didn't include the latest one. We have top five, so that includes just the top five albums. And Metal Storm, yes, Metal Storm. And then I looked at the, uh, Metal Storm had them uh, rated out of 10 points. And then uh, Metal Archives had them rated out of 100%. And what I did there was I just looked at their scores um, out of 10 or out of the 100% and ranked them in order of, of, you know, who had the highest score and who had the lowest score. And in cases where two or three albums had the same score, I gave the highest ranking to the one with the most ratings. So if we had an album with 12 ratings, an album with eight ratings, and an album with four ratings, all scoring the same percentage, the one with 12 ratings was the top one. So here, here's how it came out. So for Vader's uh, number 12 album from all these lists here was uh, Necropolis, <laughs> the one which I showed that I have. <laughs> yes, yeah, so the, their number 12 one. I guess it's one thing worth pointing out, though, that amongst their rain, rainings, like if you look at their, their scores, the absolute lowest score is 71%, which is a pretty good score because I've seen other albums with a lower score than that. So Vader's lowest scored album on Metal Archives is 71% and their lowest scored album on uh, Metal Storm is 7.6 out of 10. So I mean that that's pretty good. If that's your worst album that's pretty good. <laughs> so anyway yeah Necropolis came in at 12 and then The Beast which I don't have that came in at number 11. Uh, let's see here. Number 10 was the album called The Empire. So this tells me if I want to get one or two more Vader albums, one thing is pretty much any of them will probably satisfy the same as the other ones, for me anyway. However, The Beast and The Empire might be ones that I, I shouldn't choose so, so quickly. But it depends on who you ask, you know, because some people will put some of these albums uh, you know, a number one and number two spot and others will have it like in two or three and then somebody will take that like one, two, three spot album and, and rank it at number 10. So um, it really depends on who you ask. And uh, in fact, one of their highest ranked albums, this guy at Metal Trenches said, I know a lot of people are going to hate me uh, for ranking this so low, but um, that particular album he ranked as C out of S. ABC and uh, other people give that particular album a much much higher score uh, But we'll get to it when we get to it because it's it's number three on the list. So where did we get to we said number 12 was Necropolis um, 11 the Beast 10 the Empire um, And then number nine was Revelations by golly my first Vader album Revelations and, and as I said, I actually quite like it 
then number eight was uh, Black to the Blind. This was their third album of 1987. Their seventh ranked album was Impressions in Blood. I always thought this was, you know, such a highly ranked album and such a great album to get. And it actually is ranked on average as number seven. But I, I like it still. Uh, number six then was Solitude and Madness, which is their most latest album from uh, 2020. So it, it fell in sixth overall, although Best Ever Albums actually had it at number one, which is pretty wild. Then, let's see, that was number six. Then we go to number five is the debut album, The Ultimate Incantation. Um, scores all over the place with uh, one person ranking it uh, top top five, had it at number one. But Sputnik Music had it at number eight and uh, this guy on Reddit had it at number seven. So all over the place for The Ultimate Incantation and ultimately it's number five. Number four place went to Tibi et Igni. Uh, which is really one of their their well-praised albums, but uh, it came in at number four position. That is the one, it has a, a little bit of symphonic stuff in it, as well as one of the tracks, um, what is it called now, um, Hexelkessen or something like like that. Uh, it, it also, I feel, has some black metal riffing in it, but uh, cool, some really cool tracks on that one. Number three was Welcome to the Morbid Reich, and that's the one this uh, Metal Trenches guy put it at, at uh, rank C, um, whereas it's falling in at number two, number four, number four, number four, number one, number three, and 91%. Um, <laughs> so basically a well-favored album except for Mr. Metal Trenches, but that's all right, that's all right, he's, he's got a right to his opinion. And album number two was then Deep Profundus, which of course, yay, I have that one here too, hooray. So Deep Profundus coming in at number two, which leaves us with number one, Litany. Now I've always known Litany was one of the highest rated and ranked albums, and it was probably the next one I should get if I get one. Mr. Uh, Metal Trenches put it in uh, A rank, uh, A tier, not S tier. And he said the problem was that the production sound was a little bit too artificially bass heavy, he felt. But nevertheless, it was a great album. So that is it for the rankings uh, based on uh, all these notes I've pulled off the internet for the albums of Vader. And I think if I am to get one or two more albums, one of them should be Litany. And then the other one probably Welcome to the Morbid Reich. Although I am kind of curious about Solitude in Madness just because it's a more recent one. And some people gave it very favorable ratings and rankings. So there you go. All right, uh, that's pretty much all I should say about that then. So there we go, Vader, Polish death metal with a bit of a thrash metal band. And um, yeah, I might want to just add another album or two to my collection now that I have more idea of what they're about. So do leave uh, any comments you like in the comments section. Tell me what, what's your ranking or what are your favorite albums or, you know, knowing that I want to pick up one or two more albums, which would you recommend me to get? Maybe you'll influence my opinion. Okay, everyone, that's all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. See you again another one soon. Bye for now. Take care.